Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL Series, Episode 95. Today we're going to be looking at specular lighting. And um, just so you know what that is, we'll jump over to this Wikipedia article. You can see it's when a bright a spot of light appears on an object and then it makes it all shiny. So there's a little specular lighting here and here. So I'll include that in the show notes. So we're going to take a look at that and let's just get right into it here. So we uh, have a couple new fragment shaders and vector shader were changed a little bit. So let me just go ahead and explain what I've changed. We've added the view matrix in here that we're passing along with the MVP. And here when we're calculating V position, we're actually going to use it based off the model view matrix, which is the view matrix times the model matrix times a position, whereas previously we were just multiplying the model matrix times the position. And uh, we've changed our lighting, obviously because we're going to be using uh, the view light uh, matrix in here as well. And so we have some new equations. I've left the older code down here commented out. You can see that, but um, let's just jump right into the equations. So we normalize our light just per usual, and as well as our light position. This time we're going to be using that view matrix though, which is why uh, we're going to be passing that uniform in. And so since we are using the view matrix, we need to have the uh, model view being based off that as well. So that's part of why we did that. Uh, and then we have the light position um, as well as calculating the direction after we've normalized that light position here. Um, then we get into actual some of the equation here for the specular lighting. We're going to have the same dot product that we had before between the light direction and the normal. We're going to just use a baseline of 120. This is how powerful we want our specular light to be. We're going to start it off as zero and calculate whether or not we're going to uh, reset that depending on the dot product here. Um, we're going to take, calculate, this is just be a viewing vector. Um, it's going to be the z direction uh, of one. We're going to have a reflective vector, which is the light direction from above here, uh, negative um, with the normal here. And then we're going to determine the specular factor based on the dot product of those two and then taking a minimum of 0.0, so we're taking the max of the two, and then taking that factor, which is calculated, and multiplying it uh, powered out to the specular power, which is hard-coded to 120. And then we're finally going to go ahead and set a baseline color here, as well as the dot prod, uh, excuse the baseline diffuse factor here, and the dot uh, above, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and add that specular lighting in, and then a. So we're not actually setting colors here. This is all going to be hard coded. Obviously, you can combine this with the fuse in ambient lighting and make it a lot more dynamic. But this is, for example, we're just going to keep it simple. So in this code here, we've only changed a few things. I've made these floats so it would be a little easier to pass in as vectors. Um, scrolling down, uh, we have the view matrix here on our object now. And like I said, change these. And then finally, also for the lighting mode, we're going to set that view to the state view matrix here. And that's basically the only changes we've had to make. Uh, so then now, when we're in here, we have the cube, and when we turn it, you can see that we have the appropriate uh, lighting from that specular as it goes across the cube here. So you can see the intensity and all that kind of stuff. So um, obviously if we rotate around, the lighting stays where it stays. So it's over there. So um, just a little nice little uh, specular light. So you can play with that, uh, make it set based off textures, change all that. We may do that in a later episode. Um, and that's it for this episode. If you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe. Give me a like. Uh, share this on social media if you will. Go to programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. Have a great one. Talk to you later.